Category 4 storm is centered just 65 miles south of Alabama coastline, and that was as of an hour ago. So now it's about 50 miles away. Hurricane force winds for the first time, sustained hurricane force winds are being felt along the coast. sunrise, winds are still 50 to 60 miles per hour, well above tropical storm force. As the center of Ivan moved northward, conditions gradually improved, and the light of day revealed to the world the scope of the disaster. On September 16, 2004, Ivan made landfall in Alabama, killing 124. Additionally, Ivan caused the largest tornado outbreak caused by a hurricane on record in the United States. Other hurricanes like Charlie, Francis, and John, which got major hurricane landfall in the United States, causing 61 billion damages in the old storms in 2004. What about 2005? What, is it active? Is it deadly? Or is it worse than that? This is 2005 Atlantic Hurricane Season Animation. Starts right now. As far as what we have to go through the rest of the afternoon, uh, the wind will slowly decrease and we may get some sunshine this afternoon. Better weather for the beaches the next few days, but as uh, we've been harping for the past couple of days, everybody here is very, very concerned about Dennis. Now we can kind of pinpoint the center, which is uh, within 30 miles east of Havana, Cuba right now. So over the next uh, three to four hours, it should reemerge into the Gulf of Mexico. You can see the rain bands already strafing parts of South Florida. Even the Florida Keys sustained winds right now in the tropical storm force, 43 mile per hour sustained winds. Looks like one for the record books here, Stephanie. This could be the strongest landfalling hurricane in this part of the country on record. That's right. We don't want to make the landfall anywhere, but it looks like it's going to affect the same places that Ivan did. Still recovering from Ivan. We are sitting at a Category 4 hurricane, 140 mile hour sustained wind, and a sustained wind is the average wind speed observed over a period of one minute. Mexico border as a Category 3 storm packing winds of up to 125 miles per hour. As we predicted back in May, the 2005 Atlantic hurricane season has been active. 
The U.S. has already felt the impact of a major hurricane and two tropical storms. Many more storms are likely to form this season and keep NOAA on guard. From now through the end of the hurricane season in the Atlantic, that'll be on the 30th of November, NOAA expects an additional 11 to 14 tropical storms, with seven to nine of those turning into hurricanes and three to five of those major hurricanes. Most of you know has become a monster of a hurricane, a category five storm with winds of 160, 165 miles an hour. A storm expected to make landfall around sunrise in New Orleans, a storm on track to be the biggest hurricane ever to hit the United States. While New Orleans is in its direct path, three states are bracing for the worst tonight. But it is not Katrina's winds that make her potentially the most destructive hurricane to hit land in nearly a hundred years. It is her awesome size. The water in New Orleans is said to be leveling off, but countless people remain stranded. Like this man here, he is waving a white flag and pleading to be rescued. Right now, the wind's at 145 miles an hour. Pressure at 913. And Carl, you remember last night at this time, it was below 900. So it's weakened somewhat, but it is still an enormous and just a very strong hurricane. And it's coming closer to the coast. The uh, Galveston area of Texas along the uh, Gulf Coast uh, video provided by FEMA after uh, Hurricane Rita. The winds right now are 80 miles per hour. The winds gusting to 98 miles per hour and it's moving very slowly off to the south.
folks, especially in the Keys, need to pay uh, you know, some real attention to Wilma. We're very confident that it's going to strengthen, and uh, in fact, I'll be very surprised if it does not become a major hurricane. The 17.7 and 83.7, 160 mile an hour winds now. That's down from 175, and indeed, we do expect that the intensity will go up and down and up and down. Our alphabet, the Greek alphabet, was started alpha, but uh, let's, we're getting ahead of ourselves right now. This is going to be a major problem for Central America in terms of flooding rains and possible mudslides. swirl in the environment. Well, that is Tropical Storm Zeta. It formed late on Friday morning and has held together better than we thought it would. We thought it was going to be history by now, but you know how things have gone this season, 2005, and now we're into 2006.